What's up guys, say so what to do to it. In this video we're covering on how the warp core works. Now obviously if you've seen my previous video, you would have seen the Quiven class covering 108 kilometers in approximately four minutes. And this is capable due to its technology, which of its engine, as you can see right here, this is the warp core fully in its design. This engine is powerful enough to accelerate a very heavy vehicle up to about 600 meters per second, which by relative of my speed is about warp level 3. Now there is a friend of mine who has an engine that is a lot more powerful than mine, uh, however I don't think he would want to share that, but his engine is capable of making his craft go up to 999 meters per second, or basically warp level 6. So, you're probably thinking, how does this work? How was it even invented, and like, what led to it? Well, first on how it works, or more or less what its purpose is, you already know its purpose. Designed to get a vehicle from one place to another place very fast. But how did I do this? Well, in order to build one of these cores, you need to kind of break it down. You need to understand how this thing works, and how to build it. Now, the warp core consists of three segments. We've got the main power unit, the transferring power unit, and the acceleration unit. Now, the power unit is extremely simple. All you need is a lot of big motors linking up to a central pipe to deliver a lot of horsepower. This horsepower gets delivered to this next component here. Now, of course, as you can see, there are quite a few computers, gearboxes, and flywheels. Now, you're probably thinking, is it necessary to have this many flywheels? Yes, you need a lot of flywheels so you can have a lot of kinetic energy within your engine. All of these gearboxes are set to a 3 in 1 gear ratio. With these computers, these control these thingies, which I've forgotten what they're called. Let me take a look. The clutches. Now, of course, Ignore this one, as I'm actually just going to delete it, because you don't need this one. So what you need, for this one, not only do you need it to power up the motors, but you also need to connect it all the way over to the back clutch, which is behind all of the flywheels. What you then need is you need a constant number linked up to a ping pong speed. Now, I would recommend that this is at 100. Now, with the motors, of course, one. You need it full power. With this one, 100. See, what this does is it basically, it kind of delays the whole system. Ignore that as well. Kind of delays the whole system. I don't really understand how it works. I was just experimenting and it just worked. What you need is a hundred, link it up to this, and then you want to link this up to the first clutch. So now that you've got more or less the main power being made, the power being received and stored, ready to release, you're probably thinking, well then, how do you exit the power? Well, what you need over here in the final component is these generators. This is basically so that your warp engine can maintain its power whilst in warp uh, because of how much energy is going into these generators, it literally can recharge itself. However, in order to make the thing go, this clutch here needs to be linked up to a lever on board a bridge, which you pull forward and it basically makes the thing go. Now, of course, on my ship, you notice there's a button. Why is it a button? I use an XOR system. So basically, when the button's off, the, the system makes the lever go to zero. When the button's on, it makes the lever go to one. So when I press the button, that's what makes my ship go zoom. And then of course, once you've got the power coming out of this clutch, you need to distribute it to a lot of fans. 
Now, once you have done that, you have basically created what you have seen here. What I would recommend is to make sure that you have linked this up correctly, because if you screw this computer bit up, then the whole engine isn't going to work. So, basically I'm saying, when was Warp Drive first created? When was the electric version created? What led to it being made? Well, Warp Drive was officially created in my world in about hours played, 1,576. The first versions were jet, and was capable of getting the ships up to about 400 to 500 meters per second, basically warp level 2. However, these engines, as you can tell, they are a lot more powerful than the jet, and less leggier. These engines were not invented all the way until about the 2000s hours, probably about 2100, I believe they were created. Or I'm probably being off and it was about 2000s. But yeah, basically 500 hours later and the first electric version was made, which is this. Now, what I would recommend is if you make this, right, and it works, only have one of these on your creation. Because if you have more than one, if you have two, it would be unstable and it wouldn't really go full warp speed. If you have three, it will crash your server. It's literally powerful enough to literally destroy an entire server. So I only recommend only having one, unless you're purposely trying to make a weapon. <laughs> then, okay, I ain't stopping you. That would be funny. But basically saying, this, I would have actually never have invented this, unless I found something. So I was looking through the workshop, and I found a similar system to this, which could accelerate a ship up to warp level 6, however it was extremely weak, it couldn't push any load whatsoever up to warp speed. So I improved the system, I advanced it, and I have made it more powerful and more stable, allowing for ships like the Quiven class, and hopefully the Hyven class, to be perfectly good. So, obviously, like, if the little game, like, you're probably thinking, what's the size of this compared to a starship size? Well, the size compared to a starship size, if you look close enough, so this is the whole ship, but if you look close enough, up here, you may notice the motors. So out of the entire ship, this is the warp engine, right on top. Now, of course, like with this game of Stormworks, the technology is endless, to be fairly honest. Like, I can even tell that there is people out there in Stormworks who are far more advanced than I am, who probably even have engines that can get them up to, like, God knows how fast, probably up to the point where it'll probably break the game. Hence, my friend, who can go up to about 900 meters per second. But basically, I'm saying, if you did find this a little bit helpful, to like, help you try and build a warp device, then, yeah, like and subscribe. But yeah, it's a pretty simple system. When you when you break it down, it's simple. When it's like this, and you take a first glance at it, it looks complicated as hell. But all you need to get right is this computery system, and you're all good. Anyway, other than that, this is AC on YouTube. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps you to make your ships or whatever you're going to use a warp engine on and i'll see you in the next one bye